Hello friends, this video pair of linear equations and two variables part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched videos part 1 to part 12. Example, the sum of digit of uh, digits of a two digit number is 9. That means if we have two digit number, let's suppose x, y, the sum of the digit is 9. That is x plus y is equal to 9. Also, 9 times this number is twice the number obtained by reversing the digit. So the number here is 10x plus y that we have done in the last few slides. If the number is xy, the actual value is 10x plus y. Correct? Mathematically, because the number is 32, 32 is nothing but 3 into 10 plus 2. So it is 10x plus y. And the number obtained by reversing the number that is y x geometrically it will be 10 y plus x correct the question says 9 times this number that is 9 times this number the number is 10 x plus y is twice the number obtained by reversing the result number obtained by reversing this is 10 y plus x correct what we have done we are told that the sum of the digit is 9 that is x plus y is 9 also 9 times the number is twice the number obtained by reversing the result. This is the number and this is the number obtained by reversing the result. So we have got two equations. Let me simplify this equation. 90x plus 90y is equal to 20, sorry, 90x plus 9y. 9y is equal to 20y plus 2x, correct? Or I get x is 88x minus 11y is equal to 0 or 8 com 11 I'll take common 11 into 8x minus y is equal to 0 or I get 8x minus y is equal to 0. This is my equation. This is my equation 2 actually and this is my first equation. Now I have two equations. Let me write here x plus y is equal to 9 and 8x minus y is equal to 0. Now since the coefficient of y is same, I need not multiply, I just add these equations. This becomes 9x is equal to 9 or I get x is equal to 1. 9 plus 0 is 9, x plus 8 is equal to 9x. So I got x equal to 1. Now I got x equal to 1, I can get the value of y any time. y is nothing but 8x, that is nothing but 8 into 1 is equal to 8. So x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 8. So the number will be, the number is nothing but 10x plus y, that is 10 into 1 plus 8, that is 18. So the number is 18 and that is our answer. Please note they are not asking the value of x and y, they are asking us to find the number. So we are told that x plus y is equal to 9 and this equation that is 9 times the number is equal to 2 times the number obtained by reversing the result. We find the value of x and y using elimination method. So once we had this value of x and y, we got the number that is 10 into x plus y that is 18. Let's take one more example of elimination method. Meena went to bank to withdraw 2000 rupees. She asked the cashier for 500 and 100 rupees note and Meena got 25 notes in there. How many notes of 500 and 100 see? Let's suppose this is 100 rupee note. Let me draw here. This is 100 rupee note. And this is 50 rupee note. Correct? Meena went to draw 2000 rupees. She asked cashier to give 500 and 100 rupee. So let 50, 50 rupees note is x and 100 rupee note is y. It is number of 50 rupees note is x and number of 50, 100 rupees note is y. The question says 25 notes. That is number of 50 rupees note is x plus number of uh, this one uh, 100 rupees note is equal to 25. Correct? Y number of 50 is x number of 100 is y x plus y is 25. Also the total amount is 2000 rupees. That means 50 rupees into x, that is total amount of 50 rupees plus 
100 rupees into y the total amount you get because if you let's suppose have y 100 rupees so you get 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 y times the total number this is equal to 2000 rupees correct see the total number count is 25 x is the number of this is number i'll say number number is x and y so number of 50 is x number of 100 is y x plus y is 25 they are 25 notes now i'm talking about this is number actually you see this is here in this equation left side right side is all number here i am all here i am talking about value in rupees this is rupees 2000 this is rupees 50 into x this is rupees 100 into y so here also if you see right left hand side right hand side the units are all same correct so x plus y is 25 because the number of node is 25 number of 50 rupees node plus number of 100 rupees node is equal to 25 total actual value if you have x 50 rupees nodes the total value will be 15 to x if you have y 100 rupees node the total value will be, will be 100 into y so total sum comes out to be 50x plus 100y and that value is 200 that is given let's simplify this 50 is common actually in this so this becomes 50 into x plus 2y is equal to uh, or is equal to 50 into 5 4 20 50 50 cancel so i'll get x plus 2y is equal to 40. so i have two equation x plus y is equal to 25 and x plus 2y is equal to 40. now let me write this equation x plus y is equal to 25 and x plus 2y is equal to 40. Since the coefficient of x is same, I need not multiply, I will just subtract this. y minus 2y is equal to minus y. 25 minus 14, uh, 40 is equal to minus 50. Minus minus cancel. So I get y is equal to 15. Since I got y is equal to 15, I can use this equation. x plus 15 is x plus y is equal to 25. x plus 15 is equal to 25. Or I get x is equal to 10. So I got x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 15. That means I had 50, this is 50, 10 50 rupees notes and 15 y rupees notes. That is the answer. Very simple. We assume the value number of 50 rupees notes to be x and the number of 100 rupees notes to be y. Since the number total uh, sum was 25, so we say x plus y is 25. Here in this case, we are equating the values that is rupees, 200 rupees. 50 into x that is the total sum of money if you have x 50 rupees notes 100 into y that is total sum of money if you have y 100 rupees note that is equal to 2000 rupees solve that you get x equal to 10 y is equal to right if you have not understood this part assume this for example if you have a 450 rupees note 450 rupees note so 50 50 50 50 you add this 450 rupees note is nothing but 200 rupees and this is also equal to 15 to 4, 4 was a number. So here if you have x, 50 rupees note, the total number of, the total value will be 50x. Correct? Similarly for y. Now let's understand cross multiple. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.